We are out here in the middle of the desert near the Superstition Mountains, and we are gonna go to the Ainios Grenadier Prototype Drive event. Let's check it out. I'm super excited. What you see behind me are eight prototypes of the Grenadier. These are not street legal vehicles, so here we are out in the middle of the desert on some private land. Greg and I are both gonna get in them, drive around, and, and just, we're gonna take these things off road and beat them up and see what happens. Ineos brought 10 of their Grenadiers to our desert in varying colors and trim packages. One of the rigs was parked and opened up so we could crawl around in it. A second was up on a ramp so we could inspect the undercarriage and the remaining eight were there to be driven around by us. Grenadier employees were at various stations to answer questions and uh, well, everybody wanted to know when could we get one and how much would it cost? I actually put a reservation down on one of these. Oh man, it's been over a year. I think it was in 2021. Just been waiting, following the story of these and, and watching them as they create them. Uh, they weren't supposed to get here until I think a year from now, but actually, as it turns out, the company bought a standing old Mercedes factory that they're gonna be manufacturing these in. They've already started, they're making them. By the way, the answer to the first question is December, and the second question, nobody knows, but they hinted somewhere around 80 grand. Bryson, what do you think about these cars? Good. They're pretty cool, right? What color do you like? Look at how many more just came up. I thought it was pretty cool that they had a bunch of jerry cans painted in the available colors. As for me, I'm stuck between the metallic shale blue and the flat magic mushroom. The boys love the baby blue they call Eldred Blue, which, by the way, Eldred is a place in Ethiopia and I have no idea what it has to do with the color blue. The interior of the Grenadier is spacious compared to my Wrangler, but just as rugged. No oversized flat screens in here. The cockpit feels like an airplane with switches and dials everywhere, including up in the ceiling. I really like the mounting trim that goes around the exterior of the vehicle. The rear seats fold down, though not flat, and there seems to be plenty of room in the cargo area. The partial opening doors remind me of the original Defenders. Wait, did it really take me this long to say Defender? Make no mistake. This thing is the old school Defender Reborn. As you might have guessed, Greg spent more time under the rig than actually in it, going over every bit of the important stuff. Couple quick points. The drive shafts have CV joints. The wheels are U joints. The axles are solid. The sway bar doesn't disconnect. The springs seem big enough to handle most weights and everything seemed pretty solid. After an overview of the course and the vehicle's features, followed by a safety briefing from the driving instructor, I had the chance to lead the pack of Grenadiers, so off we went into the desert. Emily is my off-road specialist, yes. right? You're gonna teach me how to drive? I am today. All right, nice. Unfortunately, they wouldn't let us film inside the prototypes while driving, but that didn't stop me from getting some epic drone footage.
All right, Greg, you just test drove the Ainos Grenadier. Tell me about it. It's very nice. Yeah? It's very roomy inside. All right. Uh, it rides like a Cadillac smooth <laughs> over all the bumps. What was your favorite feature? Um, you know, I was pleasantly surprised by the hill descent. Okay. Just because the one in the Jeep is horrible. And yeah. This one works pretty good. There's no handle to get in and out. Not to, <laughs> might have to add that. Especially once we lift it. What do you think of all these buttons? Oh, there's a handle here, sort of. Yeah. Would you lift this first? Put cool. a couple inches on it? I mean, can we drive around anything that's not lifted? <laughs> that was pretty cool. Driving a vehicle that is not even for sale yet, awesome. I mean, I don't even know where you can get that experience. This was cool. These things were really capable off-road. They actually did well going over the bumps, the turns, going downhills, uphills. I think I got mine over 30 degrees in, in terms of the angle, and it felt actually way more comfortable than my Jeep does at that crazy angle. Oh, this is tough. I'm really a Jeep guy, but I got nothing bad to say about these Grenadiers. We learned a lot and had fun out there with the Ainos crew. We were grateful they invited us to their test drive to show us exactly what we might be getting in the future. And so the question remains, will I be getting one? Well, my deposit is still down, so I guess we'll have to see in December.